here we are deep in the subconscious realm still and one way of dealing with it is to tune into and turn into our psychic abilities. So psychic abilities are really strong here. An owl is the symbolism of wisdom, always has been, a wise old owl. And it is at home in the forest. It is at home at night. It, it hunts and preys at night. So this is um, leaning into our powers within and our powers to perceive things that can be perceived through psychic abilities. Hey there, welcome back as we take a look at more universal truths, symbolisms, the imagery, the psychological profile of the zodiac. We're taking a look at two degrees each day. There are a total of 360. Today we're on Sagittarius Gemini 5. Here we go. Five Sagittarius, the symbols. An old owl sits alone on the branch of a large tree. Psychically attuned to each other's bodies, women perform a spontaneous dance. Three women materialize out of a fog. A white owl taking in the energy of the full moon. A man of simple words inspiring others. The crystal for Sagittarius is opalized wood or opalized petrified wood. It promotes balance and calmness allowing the body to heal in a relaxed, de-stressed environment. It's a sacred representation of man's connection to the universe. It's a stone of transformation and alchemy change over time from one way of being to another. It enhances creativity, intuition, and emotional healing. We have an old owl. That means a wise soul. Someone who has been around the block many, many times, knows how to protect itself, knows how to hunt in the darkness, knows how to see what it needs to see, to stay safe, and to get what it needs. So we are leaning into psychic abilities here. If you have a quote unquote spidey sense, that's what I call it, then you want to listen to it. So if you get this cramp in your stomach as someone is walking up to you, like, like a punch in the gut almost, or you know some type of discomfort, that's a clue that you don't ignore on a day like today. Or if all of a sudden your body just feels all fluttery, like there's um, soda bubbles in you, like you, like all of a sudden you just like you feel refreshed, giggly, you know, a, a sense like that. Pay attention. It may be someone who's really, really good for you. So very strong emotional responses to communicating with others. Paying more attention to the inner urgings, emotions, and your dreams. Dreams are super strong here. And leaning into them, following them. If you lean into listening to yourself as your guidance, you'll have an easier go of things. There can be a fadedness to this particular degree, and it can be a bit frightening the three women materializing out of the fog that's the maiden the mother and the crone and they can come to you in your dream and they may come to you in a it may feel scary or it may just be pointing out to you what you need to do they're like dream weavers weaving a, um, a faded life tapestry that kind of energy here so uh, a strong emphasis with women attuning to each other's bodies that's emotion that's the emotional body using fewer words to get your point across on the surface appearing very calm like something may you know everything's fine or it may appear that nothing's really happening but this this degree makes changes changes what's been called for in this entire five-step series 
the change is happening deep within. So you still may not be seeing it outwardly, but inwardly there are deep changes being made. It's time to transform, and the easier way to go with it is to embrace it, just say, I, I allow myself to transform. And the opalized wood speaks of that. It's a stone of transformation and alchemy. So we've got to lean into that. We're meant to have tremendous faith that the transformations that we're undergoing may feel a little unnerving here because the subconscious is mixing in with the conscious and there can be a snap reaction that you really don't want to see that. You really don't want things to change. But if we lean into the change, our inner self, spirit, our guides, our dreams will help us. And if we follow those urgings, we will have an easier go of it. Let's take a look at Gemini. Five Gemini, a revolutionary magazine asking for action. Two people calling to each other across a wide, deep canyon. An immense tortoise with jewels inlaid on its back. A vast prairie, which seems like a still sea of grass. A journal of experimental poetry. The stone for Gemini is Crazy Lace Agate. It is great for those with ADHD. It promotes inner stability, composure, maturity. Its warm protective properties encourages security and self-confidence. It helps you overcome negativity, bitterness, and anger. It helps with self-analysis, helps uncover hidden circumstances that might interfere with your well-being. It's useful for all kinds of trauma. It gives courage to start over. There's definitely a call to action. The Revolutionary Magazine is touting radical ideas. That is the natural reaction when, when something is scary to us. We try to pull things together in a rational way and we're not in the rational zone right here. So in trying to understand things fully in a full way, here it's asking for action to break out of that mold and figure things out. We've got communication that's not necessarily easy to interpret. It, for the person who's wanting to say it, they might be afraid to speak it or feel like it's going to be difficult and so they're really not sure how to do it. So this is someone who might feel repressed in saying what needs to be said. Reading body language and hand signals may come into place as somebody who is very expressive with the way that they talk with their hands and with their body language. Listening between the lines, um, listening more carefully. So if someone may say fewer words, you, you're going to have to read between the lines. What are they really saying? What more is there? Again, this is a degree of telepathy. Um, psychic abilities are strong here. So a deep need to connect, but possibly some kind of disconnect, like uh, a, a distance. Here it's actual distance. So this could be someone who's comfortable communicating with someone on the internet, like you're, you're comfortable talking with someone where you even may have um, a language barrier, but it goes slowly because you're having to use a translator, uh, you know, a Google translator, and you still communicate, but it's just going to go slower. The immense tortoise shell is also very interesting. If you think of a turtle, they can really only see ahead of them and from side to side. They can't see how beautiful that the jewels are on their back, but other people can. It's the inner wanting to express what is there, but still there's, there's like, there's a difficulty doing it. You can, the person can't see how beautiful they are. I also think that this kind of speaks to people who um, like to put tattoos on, you know, they have a lot of tattoos on their back. I would think that you might be into tattoos with this particular degree.
also the opposite one, Sagittarius 5. It talks about repressed feelings and root emotions. There has to be an outlet for them, and if not, then it can come out violently. You need to find a way to express yourself, whether it be through music or being a writer or, you know, somehow get, get your emotions out in a constructive way because if not it can come out in an explosive way. If Gemini can slow itself down, slow its mind down, and it can be done through breath work, meditation, just you know consciously saying I'm gonna slow things down. If, if your mind is going around and around like a, a hamster on a wheel, slow it down. Be here now. Pay attention to what you're doing. If you're reading something, read it fully. Don't have the television on. Don't have a radio going. Don't be having another conversation going on. Slow down and, and zoom in on one thing. So focus here is, is key. And to clarify yourself and to do so with fewer words. So that the jewels that are present today, here now, be here now, are not wasted. There's wisdom here, but we, we it can be missed if we're moving too fast. One of the things that you want to probably guard against is just retreating inward because that's where it's safe and you know you're not going to have conflict if you're there. But you have something that's valuable to share with people and it may not be easy. The value will come out um, possibly through poetry, you know, saying fewer words, slowing it down and saying fewer words, and not necessarily worrying so much what other people think. Coming from a place of a higher consciousness, it may seem radical, it may seem revolutionary, but if you're constantly touching base with your higher self with your dreams and you're, you're tracking with that instead of the social norm you're going to be better served on this particular degree so that's what i have for you today i thank you so very much for being here if you have an opinion about these particular symbols i would love to hear them if you've had a dream about these symbols i'd love to hear them and give me a like if you're enjoying this subscribe for more and please take care. Till next time.